Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to take a look at polyform, polymorphism and interfaces. So in polymorphism, this can refer, well, the actual dictionary definition of polymorphism refers to a principle in biology in which an organism or species can have many different forms or stages. So this principle can also be applied to object-oriented programming and languages such as Java, which we're using. So in polymorphism, subclasses of a class can define their own unique behaviors and yet still share the state and some of the other behaviors of the parent functionality. One thing we're going to take a look at also is the super keyword. So it refers to uh, a keyword that we can use in Java and it um, allows us to use instant variables, methods, and even constructor calls to our immediate parent class. So just like you're able to use this, the, this keyword in a class, which would refer to that current class, if you are in a child class and you use the super keyword, it will refer to any method or um, constructor call to that parent class. So in an interface, an interface body can contain abstract methods, default methods, and also static methods. An abstract method within an interface is followed by a semicolon but no curly braces. Um, all abstract, default, and static methods in an interface are implicitly public, so you can omit the public modifier. So now back in our example that we've been working in, we can add an interface, implement it with our mountain bike, and display how we can use polymorphism to modify our print states function that lives in our bicycle class. A matter of fact, um, I'm going to change the name of this to description. Uh, this will print the current description or current state of our bicycle. So, first let us create our interface. So we can just come right here and type our interface keyword. We can call it like interface. Or let's in rather we call it by contract. And in here we can implement this a method signature. So remember, it's just a signature with no curly braces. So we can um, implement For our mountain bike, we want to always be able to get the suspension. So we can go up here to our mountain bike and we use the implement the implements keyword and we want to implement our bike contract. So now you see that we have a red line under our mountain bike. If we hover over that arrow, we'll see here that the, the type mountain bike must implement the inherited abstract method by contract dot get suspension. So two quick fixes are available. We can add our unimplemented uh, method or we can make mountain bike abstract. So what we'll do is click on add unimplemented method and it will generate that method stub here for us that is inside our by contract. So now we have to implement our get suspension. 
So first, let us define a property. For our suspension and we can also set the suspension to string suspension value and then we say this dot Suspension is equal to suspension value. Now that we have this, we can in our get suspension, what we can do here is just simply say system out. can say the suspension is oops come back in here suspension okay so now we have implemented our get suspension method okay so what we want to do in this class also is we want to override this current description method that was here it was formerly get states I changed it to current description which is our getter in our parent class bicycle and we want to modify this current description method a bit so here we can simply say current description and now we can make reference to this print statement here so we can actually call our current description method here by saying super dot current description but we also want to add our get suspension um, method here so we can also say get or this dot get suspension okay so super is referencing current description in our parent class and this is referring to this current mountain bike class so down here in our main function we can see that we now have an error because we need an argument to match our constructor so remember we added a string parameter to our constructor so now we have to implement that so let us add that and we can think of uh, suspension so we can say single pivot is our suspension okay so now that we have added our suspension type we can now call our current description function and let us run this file okay and we can see here in the current description that we are getting back our cadence speed and gear values and also it's printing that the suspension is a single pivot so of course the super keyword is pulling in this print line from our parent class and also adding our getter statement that we just implemented in our uh, mountain bike class and here 
it's also printing all that message all right all right so in our next video we will take a look at uh, another example a real world example we look at how to create a new package and build out a small uh, address book application where we can store a person and the address of that person and we look at how to put all these different concepts that we've looked at up to this point put them all together so see you in the next video